Bradley, the director of training here at Helium 10. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys an overview of the comprehensive set of tools that Helium 10 has for inventory management. There's a lot of different functions here. So after this video, you're gonna be able to see maybe which function that you wanna start learning about how to use a little bit more. And in later videos, in each of these sections, you're gonna have more detailed videos about how to use each of these different tools or functions. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, I am here in the default page of what comes up when you first get into inventory management, and that's the restock suggestions page, all right? In the restock suggestion page, it's you're going to be able to uh, take a look at the products that you are tracking and you're gonna know, hey, is it in stock or should I order it from the factory or should I transfer it from my warehouse to Amazon, and you're even going to be able to set up shipments right here, transfer shipments from Amazon to, or from your warehouse to Amazon. So uh, in the restock suggestions page, which is the page that you're probably on, hit the learn button. I'm going to have a lot more details on exactly how to use this page, but this is the, the backbone of the entire inventory management suite of tools. So you might want to spend some time here. Uh, the suppliers page, this is the page where you are going to manage all of your suppliers. So like, let's say you have some suppliers from China, some suppliers from India, some suppliers from the USA that, uh, manufacture your products, this is where you are going to manage those suppliers on this page. And we're, there'll be a learn button here on how to use this. Local warehouse, this is where you manage your local inventory. All right, a lot of sellers now either have their own warehouse or they have a third party warehouse where they store their product before it goes to Amazon. If you are one of those sellers, you are going to be able to manage your local warehouse inventory from this tab right here. And again, there'll be a learn button video here that will help you uh, how to uh, help you know how to use this set of tools. Purchase orders, all right, you can actually create purchase orders for your suppliers, for your replenishment orders, uh, right here within Helium 10. You're gonna be able to make a PDF and also it's gonna uh, show up in your uh, forecasted inventory that is incoming. So cut your POs right here from Helium 10's purchase orders page. There will be training on how to set that up in another module. We've also got the inbound shipments. This tab right here actually shows you what is in transit as far as shipments that have been created that are in transit to the Amazon warehouses. This is pulling directly from your Amazon Seller Central account and you're gonna be able to see the status of them and then you can actually create a, a transfer shipment as well right from here. There'll be a video on, with details about how to use that on this page. And lastly, we've got our settings page. Uh, this is where you're gonna set uh, some of your defaults that you will need to use in order for inventory forecasting, as well as there will be a section right here with how to uh, bulk import a lot of data from these other pages. So again, uh, this is our inventory management suite of tools. As you can see here, it's not just one little section here. We've got a lot of different sections here. Probably you're gonna wanna stay right here on this restock inventory. Uh, page or the restock suggestions page because inventory forecasting, like I said, is the backbone uh, of this suite of tools right here. So make sure to check the next video in this series about how exactly that you can use this inventory forecasting and then check out the different tabs here that I went over so that you can get some detailed information on how to access those functions as well. We'll see you in the next video.